If the pressure in your boiler drops and needs to be topped up, this is something which can be done at home. Ensure the power to the system is switched off. Located underneath the boiler is a concealed tray. Pull this towards you with the grooved handle. The key to repressurize the boiler is attached to this tray. Now locate the white square plastic nut underneath the boiler. The slot next to this is the one you need to fit the key into. Insert the key into this slot and ensure that it's lined up with the open padlock symbol. Turn the key anti-clockwise. Next, turn the white square plastic nut clockwise. You'll hear water flowing into the system. Open the front of the boiler flap and check the dial on the pressure clock is rising. This needs to rise to 1.5 bar. Once the dial is at the correct pressure, turn the nut clockwise until you hear the water stop. Now turn the key back to the open padlock symbol. Don't be alarmed if some water comes out, this is normal and can be easily wiped up. Replace the key and attach the tray back underneath your boiler. You'll now be ready to turn the power back onto the system. Ensure the power to the system is switched off. Identify the pressure gauge. The ideal pressure is 1.5 bar. First of all, you'll need to locate the external loop system. This one is under the kitchen unit. Next, locate the water main. You'll then need to identify whether your boiler has a key or screw thread. If you have a screw thread, locate the blind cap, which is attached to the end of the water mains pipe. Unscrew the blind cap. Next, attach the end of the mains pipe to the loop system on the boiler and tighten. Now go back to the screw thread and turn it anti-clockwise a quarter of a turn. You'll hear water running into the pipe. Allow it to run until it sounds like it's stopped and monitor the dial on the gauge. When the pressure is at 1.5 bar, turn the tap off. Next, unscrew the loop system from the water mains and replace the blind cap. You'll now be ready to turn the power back onto the system. If you're still having problems, you can call a HelpLink engineer. Visit helplink.co.uk